built in 1935 in the Dilam or Pavilion with its streamlined form, curvaceous plan, and slender columns, stands as a prime example of modernism. It's placed along the south coast of England, in East Sussex. It was built from a design competition, won by Eric Mendelssohn and Sir Ivan Tremay at beating more than 200 other entries. The building was commissioned by Herbert Sacknell, 9th Earl de Lamour, and the building was named after him. The mayor of Bexhill at the time Earl de Lamour wanted to commission the building for the public, so announced it as a competition in the Architects' Journal in February 1934, after the need to attract more visitors. The competition attracted many architects, with the brief insisting an entertainment hall, a restaurant and outdoor areas for the public. Due to the size of the project the budget had raised £30,000 to £80,000. Eric Mendelssohn, born in 1887, was a German-Jewish architect, known for his expressionist architecture in the 1920s, as well as for developing a dynamic functionalism in his projects for department stores and cinemas. Born in Allenstein, East Prussia. After studying economics at the University of Munich in 1906, he went on to study architecture at the University of Berlin and then graduated in 1912 at the Technical School of Munich. Toter with Frutlich, Mendelssohn had the opportunity to design and build the Einstein Tower. This relationship and also the family friendship with the Luckenwald Hats manufacturers Salomon and Gustav Hermann helped Mendelssohn to an early success. In England in 1933 he began a business partnership with Serge Tremayet, which saw the construction of the de la Mort Pavilion. Serge Ivan Tremayet, born in 1900, was a Chechen-born, British architect, industrial designer, writer, and co-founder of several architectural societies, including the American Society of Planners and Architects. He moved to England at an early age, where he studied and worked as an interior designer. By 1930 he began to work with German architect Eric Mendelssohn creating modernist-style buildings. The building's aesthetics had leaned towards a streamlined style and had become heavily influenced from industrial designs with expansive use of metal framed windows and steel framed construction. The building deliberately avoids traditional brick for the use of concrete and green lines, following the modernist style. The interior uses cutting-edge design ideas with mixtures of green pastel walls and cork green terrazzo and molded plywood chairs. The pavilion is said to feel like being in an ocean liner. Undoubtedly this is, because their building encompassed great grace, bold simplicity and superlative planning. These traits can be seen in this early sketch. On this piece of paper, Mendelssohn sketched his idea for the principal motif of the Bexhill Pavilion, the staircase. Enclosed within a glass tower, this dominates the exterior and interior, the tower's bold curves thrusting out towards the sea, at odds with the pavilion's otherwise rectilinear forms. The staircase itself curves effortlessly up through the building, and although some argue that the building shows some elements of Art Deco, this has been called a modern masterpiece, and inspiration for British architects. The pavilion held concerts and events in its 1,000-seat auditorium, exhibition rooms, a lecture hall, a library and food and music in the cafe and deck games on the roof. Unfortunately, during World War II, Bexhill and Sussex had become susceptible to German attack and the de la War pavilion had become used by the military. The building suffered damage when the Metropole Hotel adjacent to the building was destroyed by German bombings. After the war, the general aesthetics and changes to the building had resulted in degradation of the building's finish and quality due to lack in council funds and planning. In 1986 the de la Mort Pavilion had been listed as a Grade 1 building status, placing a halt to further unnecessary changes. In 1989 the Pavilion Trust had been formed intending to protect and restore the building to its former glory. In 1990 the group appointed Trotten McAlson to provide long-term restoration to the building. The trust also campaigned to have the famous light in the stairwell, original furniture and floor plank to be restored. In 2002 the de la Mort Pavilion had been approved £6 million by the Heritage Lottery Fund and the Arts Council in an attempt to turn the building into a contemporary arts centre. In 2004 construction started on the regeneration of the de la Mort Pavilion. In 2005, after a long and progressive restoration attempt, the de la Mort Pavilion had reopened as a contemporary arts center, becoming one of the largest galleries in the South Coast in England. The gallery also hosts a range of performances, events, and feature films. The de la Mort Pavilion still stands today as a great example of 1930s modernist architecture in England.